Well, my first guest tonight says these latest emails clearly expose the Clinton cartel's deep ties to corruption, to bribery, a lengthy history of pay-to-play scandal. He's also detailed how the Obama Justice Department may be trying to sway the election, extorting fines from major commercial banks that are used to fund leftist groups that are pushing the Democratic vote. Joining me tonight, Peter Swizer, president of the Government Accountability Institute, executive producer of the Clinton Cash film, which is based on his best-selling book of the very same name. Great to have you with us, Peter. Let's start Thank with you, this, this turnout issue and the idea that, and already, and the public knows that this Justice Department has been compromised, politicized to the point uh, that it is, frankly, a cesspool of corruption. But the idea that they're going after commercial banks and using that money then to move into the pockets of leftist activists, nonprofits, that's extraordinary. Uh, yeah, it is. I mean, it's another example, unfortunately, Lou, of how the Department of Justice, which is supposed to uphold justice, uh, has been twisted and distorted into resembling something completely different. In this case, you have a legitimate function of the Department of Justice, which is to go after financial institutions if they've committed crimes, and of course that's always the question, uh, and seek some kind of restitution. And that restitution is supposed to come in the form of fines or paying the right. victims who were somehow victimized by the banks. Uh, the problem is, is that the money has been diverted. More than $650 million during the Obama administration has been diverted and has gone to left-wing progressive groups that are designed for voter activism and get-out-the-vote efforts among, quote-unquote, progressive voters. It's a complete distortion of what the Department of Justice should be doing and further example that it's about politics and not about law and order. They've become an intermediary between law enforcement uh, and uh, distribution, ideological redistribution. And when you say left wing, you mean way left wing in the case of some of these nonprofits. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, one group that got millions of dollars is a group called uh, Asian Americans for Equality. You know, sounds like a great organization, right? The problem is when you look at this group, which is based in New York, it has the same office and phone number of the Communist Workers Party, which I didn't even know it was around still. To make matters worse, the head of this organization is actually a North Korean sympathizer, has said wonderful things about the, the hermit kingdom in North Korea. These yeah. are the kinds of groups that are getting the money. It's, it's, it's outrageous. And this practice is still going on with, without reaction from those banks. They're simply, it's the price of doing business, I suppose it's become for them in their view. Yeah, that's right, Lou. And in fact, they even get a special deal. I mean, here's the other shocking thing. If you are a bank and say you are fined $70 million because you have committed offenses or crimes, the Department of Justice under Obama will give you a 7 to 1 discount. If you owe $70 million, if you give $10 million to a progressive group, they will wipe the $70 million clean. So they have a financial incentive to not say anything and to go along with this scam. The, it's not only corrupt, it is uh, both bizarre and it has become a bizarre, uh, a, a market of iniquity uh, that is being sanctioned by, uh, by the White House in full knowledge of, uh, of who? The president? Well, I, think it's, I think it goes all the way to the top. I think that uh, President Obama knows about this. I think the Clintons know about this. And, and look, this is not some you know, pure get-out-the-vote effort. Remember when the, when the uh, chain uh, Chick-fil-A did voter registration right. in the state of Florida, they were denounced and criticized mm -hmm. uh, because they were allowing anybody to kind, kind of come up and vote and register. This voter registration and voter turnout is very specifically targeted to what they call progressive of communities, which basically means Democratic voters. Incredible. And Peter, I'm going to answer uh, the, the logical conclusion uh, uh, to this. Has there been any law enforcement effort, any attempt by, on the part of anyone, an agency, an individual, or organization to intercede and to stop this? Well, you know, Congress has held some hearings. I hope with this new report, anybody can get it at cronyism.com. Uh, I hope with this new report and new information that maybe Congress will look into this. It demands criminal investigation. I believe they're back the week after the election, though, Peter. 
Yeah, no, that, that's, that's exactly right. And this has been going on for a long time. And it's going to continue to go on until somebody st that has the authority and the purse strings. Look, this is the Department of Justice yeah. doing it. The Senate Judiciary Committee, they can pull the purse strings and say this stops or we're not going to fund you. Would you say Trump is right as he said today? This election is all about whether or not we stop the corruption uh, in our capital city. Look, I think corruption is widespread and the enormous frustration of Trump supporters, but also I would say Bernie Sanders supporters on the left is precisely this problem. It's they believe that the political class in Washington, D.C. is about feathering their own nest, perpetuating their own power, and they basically don't care about the rest of the country. That is, I think, the core issue of the election right now. Peter Schweizer, always good to talk with you. Always uh, illuminating. Thank you. Thanks so much, Peter.